All right, guys, back on another video. We're going to go over to FPS Fix um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Now, the first thing we need to get is a D3D9 file in order to um, perform the first task of FPS fixing it. I'll go over in a minute on what this is right here, which this is optional in case you ever, in case you ever uh, encounter those errors. We'll, we will have a way of being able to fix those. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up the directory of S Skyrim. If you bought it from Steam, then you can go through there, but if you didn't, you can go through here. Um, I bought mine from Steam, but I changed the installation location on Steam so that it goes to my games folder so that I can manage and watch all the games that I have on my computer. Yes, it took a long time to transfer all my games over to this games folder, but it was completely worth it. But anyways, guys, now, now the first thing we need to do after downloading it, let me go ahead and press this and go to Google. We're going to go ahead and check out the check out crash fixes. Uh, the crash fixes. Um, this website will be able to tell you exactly what you need to do in order to fix most of the crash issues that appear on Skyrim. Um, it also tells you how to take a screenshot. Um, I can't see any FS effects in games um, that is able to be resolved. Um, most of the most of these errors have already been resolved through the um, through them having to update it. So you guys shouldn't have any problems. But if you guys are still having problems, uh, just revert to this page and it will tell you how to fix them. So anyways, um, while that's out of the way, we can go ahead and close that and go minimize that. Uh, we just need to go to Skyrim. We're going to go ahead and launch it, but we're not going to actually launch the game. As you can see, it says that I have a NVIDIA GeForce 880 GS. It's not true. The trick is, is that I don't actually have those graphics. I have something else. If we go to here, I actually have Intel HD graphics for 4040. But what, how is this possible? If I have Intel Graphics HD 40, why does it say that I have that? Well, because of the D3D9, uh, it tell, it changes it. So I want I let I want this to be like that. Why is there two of the same one? But whatever. Um, we better go ahead and put off uh, turn off anti stropic filter. Um, we're putting it to low quality, and now we're going to go to advanced. We're going to put the put this to low, 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 low. Root, turn off reflex sky turn all the way this down 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 um, put this below object detail fade turn off close okay exit we launch you're done go ahead and launch your game and you're and you have finally finished FPS fixing Elder Scrolls Skyrim now for people now for my personal preferences on how to do the view distance I put everything to max view distance I put this is what I do I have to put the view distance up to high because this game as you know, um, it needs a view distance a lot because of the fact that um, I just want the characters and all the all the items and all the different things that are supposed to spawn in the ground on the ground be there. I want them to be there, so that's why I put them put that as high as I can and put the graphics all the way down below. So that's what I do. But anyways, um, that doesn't really help out with your FPS. But if you but if it but that. But, but before what I just told you how to do it, that one should. Anyways, guys, hopefully this video was pretty helpful. And my name is uh, Alex Duncan from Top PC Guides, and 